Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be testing and reviewing the Lutema M95i mask. According to the listing, these are a five layer mask and are made in the USA. We ordered the five pack which costs $12.99, making them roughly around $2.60 each. They do have a 4.2 out of 5 rating with 396 reviews. These do not claim to be N95 or K95s. The manufacturer does state that this N95 series was an invention by the MI Technologies. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at these masks. This is how the mask looks. It does have the M95 eye and the brand. These are a bit on the thinner side and this is how it looks from the inside. The material from the inside is not the softest. And let's take a look at the straps. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna try on another one since I already pulled on the straps. So I'm gonna flatten out the nose wire so that it's easier for me to adjust it to my face. As I am doing it, I do realize that it's not the strongest nose wire. It is a bit weak. We're gonna see how it forms around my nose. So this is how it looks. These are maybe a size medium large. I am getting a lot of leakage on the bottom of the mask. I'm not able to create a good seal with this nose wire. So I am getting a bit of leakage on the side of the bridge of my nose. The ear loops are actually pretty loose and I'm not getting a good seal. I'm going to try to seal this here. As you guys can see, it has quite a bit of collapse. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration and the breathability. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.71% with a pressure drop of The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.82 and a pressure drop of 17.2. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.56 and had a pressure drop of 17.6. Overall, these masks tested pretty good in terms of filtration efficiency. However, it was a little high in terms of breathability. The construction quality does not feel as refined or as high quality as some other masks that we've tested before, so there's definitely some room for improvement. Ultimately, we cannot recommend these as a substitute to a legitimate K95 or N95, as these do not have any certifications or conform to any regulated standards for respirators. And as I mentioned, they also tested higher than what we like to see in terms of breathability. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or any other content that you would like to see in our YouTube channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in the description box, like our website, which is acumet.com, and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.